So for people who have houses but don't really have a really large yard to go around it, you don't want to buy a lawnmower that is massive, that takes a half an hour to drag out of the garage and use for 10 minutes. It seems like a real big waste of time and space to me. So today I'll be looking at the best lawnmowers for your small yard and break them down by their features, what benefits they have, so you can see which one of them might be best for you based upon your particular situation and the type of yard you have. And as always, I'll include links to each of these down below so you can check for updated pricing and availability for any of them that you might be interested in. Also, if there are any special deals or discounts on any of them, I'll include that in the description as well. So finding the best mower to take care of your small yard can be a little bit tricky. Deciding whether you're gonna choose gas powered, electric, or even a manual mower can be a little daunting. So with that in mind, we tested a lot of products and here are our results. Overall, the best is the Greenworks G-Max 40 volt 16 inch cordless lawn mower. And if acquiring a battery powered mower is at the top of your list, then you're gonna to wanna to check out the Greenworks G-Max because this 40 volt mower can mow up to 4,000 square feet in 45 minutes on one charge. And as a bonus, it has a push button start and weighs just under 40 pounds. The Greenworks G-Max also has a 16 inch cutting width and five adjustable heights. And it's got six inch front wheels, seven inch rear wheels and handles most yards without any issue. And it can also mulch or bag grass clippings with a bag that they include. And it comes with a battery and a charger. So if you're looking for the best overall lawn mower for your small yard, then the Greenworks G-Max Max 40 volt 16 inch cordless lawnmower is probably going to be a good choice for you. Value wise, the Sunjo MJ 401E Pro 14 inch 13 amp electric lawnmower is going to be the best bang for your buck. It is ideal for those with a small flat yard, but very little room to store a mower. The Sunjo's cutting path is only about 14 inches wide, which means it can maneuver in really tight places, both in your yard and when it comes to storing it in your shed or your garage. And it has a 13 amp motor and only weighs just under 30 pounds. The Sunjo has three height adjustments allowing you to choose the best grass length for the season and if you don't want to leave the clippings on the lawn then they give you a bag that you can use to collect all of them so if you're just looking for the best bang for your buck then the sunjo mj 401e pro 14 inch 13 amp electric lawn mower is probably going to be an ideal choice for you the craftsman m105 140 cc 21 inch gas push lawn mower is the best gas powered mower that we found if you're looking for something that's compact with a lot of power then the craftsman m105 might be the right choice for you this particular item is compact packed with plenty of power and it features a 140 cc Briggs and Stratton gasoline engine with an auto choke and recoil for easy starts. It has a relatively large 21 inch cutting width and the oversized rear wheels are really good for more challenging terrain and you can adjust it to cut grass from lengths of just over an inch to just under four inches. The M105 also provides options for collecting your grass clippings so you can bag them with what they include with the model or mulch them to enrich your soil and they include a side shoot that discharges the longer clippings for raking, bagging, blowing, whatever you may be doing. So if you're just looking for the best gas powered overall, the Craftsman M105 140cc 21 inch gas push lawn mower is likely going to be a wise choice for you. The Greenworks 18 inch 12 amp corded electric lawn mower is the best electric lawn mower. So if you're not into using gas, then this is a really good choice to just plug into whatever your outlet might be. Because the Greenworks 18 inch corded electric lawn mower is for people who are just looking for something reliable and powerful. It cuts a path up to 18 inches wide and features two oversized seven inch wheels so you can maneuver over roots and rocks without any trouble. The height adjusts to seven different settings. It weighs just under 50 pounds and folds into a compact package for storage. The Greenworks 18 inch quartered electric lawn mower also mulches your grass or you can capture it in the side discharge chute. And although the cord is short, you can purchase an extension from Greenworks that will give you indeterminate length. So if you're looking for the best electric lawn mower for your small yard, then the Greenworks 18 inch 12 amp quartered electric lawn mower is probably gonna be a wise choice for you. Keeping it old school, the Great States 815-18 five blade push reel mower is the best reel push mower that we found for your small yard. So if you're ditching the gas and electric and want to keep it as old school as it gets, then this might be a really good choice for you. It's a quiet manual motor that has an 18 inch cutting path as well as a five blade design. The 10 inch wheels allow for some challenging terrain as well, but not as much when you have four wheels. And while the design is basic, the Great States lawnmower has some really nice features. It's padded handle, keeps it comfortable, and it adjusts 
adjust to several different heights. And while it doesn't mulch, its bagger attachment will at least collect the clippings for you. So if you're just looking for the best real mower overall, then the Great State's 815 18-inch 5-blade push reel mower is likely going to be a good choice for you. The Makina XML 03 PT1 18V X2 LXT 18-inch lawnmower kit is the best cordless lawnmower that we found for your small yard because the Makita 18-inch bridges the gap between cordless electric convenience and also gas-powered dependability because this particular cordless electric lawnmower uses two 18-volt batteries to create 36 volts of power. That's some easy math. It's got a brushless motor that runs between 2,500 and 3,300 RPMs and can cover up to 7,300 square feet of lawn on one charge, which is pretty impressive. It comes with two sets of batteries and a charger as well. And this Makita allows for both mulching and bagging because they include a 16-gallon bag and it also has 10 adjustable height settings. And to store it, it's real easy. Simply fold the handle and roll it under a workbench or some other low surface. So if you're looking for the best cordless overall, the Makita XML03 PT1 18V X2 LXT 18-inch lawnmower kit is likely going to be a good choice for you. The Black & Decker Electric Lawnmower 10 and 15-inch was the best lightweight mower that we tested for your small yard. And for a lightweight mower with plenty of features and capability, the Black & Decker is definitely one that you consider. The corded electric mower with a 15-inch cutting width and a 10 amp electric mower comes in weighing just under 40 pounds and it features a push-button start and upright ergonomically designed grips with built-in triggers. So for people with back problems or other issues, you're not going to exacerbate that by using this machine. And aside from the weight and its comfortable grips, this particular Black & Decker mower has some other nice features too. It's got six height adjustments that allows you to set it to whatever the ideal length might be for you. And although it lacks a mulching function, it does come with a bag. So keep that in mind that this is a corded mower, so it may require an additional extension cord too. So if you're just looking for the best lightweight mower out there, the Black & Decker Electric Lawn Mower 10 and 15 inch might be a wise choice for you as well. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. A good digital pat on the back feels so wonderful. And just a reminder that I'll include links to each of these products down below so you can check for updated pricing and availability for any of them that you might be interested in. Also, let me know any questions or comments you have as I always love getting to answer as many of them as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.